And now, Blind Wave proudly presents Cooking with Blind Wave. This episode, hot dogs with homemade ketchup and fries. Hello, we're back here with Cooking with Blind Wave. Yep. Um, yeah. What are we doing back. this time? What are we well, doing this time? I'm gonna try to make one of the tastiest hot dogs I can make. My personal favorite hot dog. Wait, I right, we're, we're done. Making hot no, dogs. we need ketchup. No, we're gonna make ketchup. Now we're done. We're done. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make ketchup. Um, I love ketchup my fries. I know uh, Aaron, the cameraman, and Calvin and Rick do not. I love ketchup on my fries. What? On my fries? You said on my fries. On the hot dogs, I meant. Well, uh, well, you said it wrong. Okay. Ah, oh, and Aaron doesn't even like them on his fries, do you, Aaron? I don't like them on my fries, either. Okay, well, I kind of took it as a personal challenge. I have my, one of my good I buddies. I like mayonnaise on my fries. I do, too. I do, so too. Eric. I do, too. Uh, I like yeah, mustard, too, but, you know, not as good as ketchup for me. Okay, so we're going to make some ketchup uh, or make some fries. One of my best friends, yeah. Mike Groom, his mom makes this amazing ketchup. Well, I couldn't get the recipe, but I found one online that reminded me of it. What did the recipe have? Uh, tomatoes. This, uh, well, well, it had a lot of this stuff. Did it have? But ingredients! <laughs> There's particularly, actually, there really not beef. Yeah, there are beef franks, so. Um, and they're loaded because they have uh, different kinds of, they have chicken and pork mixed in the Chicken and pork franks! Kosher dough sliced pickles! I hate pickles! Mayonnaise! Uh, oh. Jalapeno? Peppers! Potatoes! Potatoes! Crescents! Vinegar! Dark brown beer sugar! That was my nickname, ice cream. Mac and cheese! But what? why? Alright guys, first thing we're gonna do is uh, we have preheated the oven. Did you even do it at all? No, you never told me to preheat the oven. First, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Yes. For the fries. You know what, do 375. First, preheat the oven to 375. Well, here's the thing, like the croissants need to be 350. And uh, and basically, the french fries need to be 450. Okay. So, like, oven, I don't want these two ovens that run back and forth. I don't know, we had two floors with two ovens. So we did that, and those are for the potatoes and for the croissants, which we'll do later. Um, but we are going to make the ketchup right now. Right now. Right now. Ketchup. So, let me pull, let me pull out some of my ingredients. I do know that we need to chop up an onion. An onion. An onion. Into very fine tiny pieces. Shouldn't uh, we do this last so that it's behind and can catch up? I mean, it's gonna take a while to make it. <laughs> oh, I really thought you were coming at me. <laughs> uh, then we slice it into, I guess, moon shapes? Moon shapes. Crescents. Yeah. Um, you mean circles? <laughs> a new moon. Like a ball? Calvin, he means this. <laughs> we're still slice it like that, because we're actually gonna saute it, and then we're eventually gonna throw it all in the blender. Like slivers? Yes. Okay. Can you get four cloves of garlic and slice them up, please? Right here, bud. Calvin's gonna do the onions, Eric's gonna do the garlic. So, now for, yeah, just like that. Now it says two, but I'm gonna do like four, okay? Because that's what we all do with garlic on three, blind four. wave. There we go. It should be garlic with blind wave is what it should be. Okay, chop it up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just crush them again, because they're still in their little All the vampires watching this show again. I had garlic last night, I smell garlic We can't make it now. And now we need a, a knob of ginger about an inch long when you're done. Slice it up too, please. Okay? I'm doing nothing, and I like it. Now, Calvin, well, I'm, what I'm gonna ask him to do is to please uh, uh, slice these onions as well, these green onions. All right, and separate the green part from the white ball. Ugh. I'm gonna rinse them off as well. You know, I washed them earlier, but I'm gonna wash them again. That looks good, Calvin. So I'm gonna put some olive oil on this right now. I can find it. What we can do after this kind of heats up a little bit, Maybe throw that all in here. And then after, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, when that starts to kind of brown, we're gonna go ahead and throw garlic and onion and like half a teaspoon of allspice and some salt and pepper. Allspice? Ah! 
All right, and I guess another thing that we can do is I like to kind of candy my jalapenos. Okay, my, I have a friend who's a cook to show me this. So I'm putting all the jalapenos here, in a, not all of them, but ah. quite a few here in a bowl. We can use brown sugar for this, but I'm gonna use, it wasn't on the ingredients list, just regular white sugar. One part water, one part vinegar, and two or three tablespoons of sugar. You want some of the pan sugar or some of the sugar in the bag? Let's do some of the back sugar. Uh, All right, we're gonna right. eyeball two or three tablespoons of sugar. Much more. There we go. Some vinegar. And then do some hot, hot water. Pretty hot. It's getting pretty hot. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, ah, <laughs> I've never played hot water chicken before. <laughs> These jalapenos for the cats of change. Uh, no, this is just for us. It's a topping. I know Aaron will appreciate it. Thank God. And optional. Aaron appreciates a good jalapeno. Whew. All right. I'm back here. Yeah. I like jalapeno in my. I start much more than ketchup. That looks pretty. Yes. Yeah, like that. Smaller. Maybe a little smaller. And we're gonna let this marinate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just in, in, until uh, we use them. Uh, 30 minutes. We just gotta have these brown. It's gonna take eight to 10 minutes. All right, Rick, mm. slide uh, can you cut the potatoes yeah. uh, into wedges, like french fries, basically? Probably. Okay. Well then, yeah, if you can start doing it, maybe you can do it right here. I'll move this for you. All right, make sure you do the claw. You don't cut off your hand. Yeah, make sure you don't do that. Now that you're getting thinner, you can do it. Again. Yeah, they, they, yeah, about that thin is about how you want them. Like, like that, at the most. Very most. I'm gonna do a little more olive oil. Good! <laughs> <laughs> when are these going? They don't. They're gonna be on toppings for top pot though. They don't. We just wanted you to do something so that you wouldn't bother us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw this away then. No! All right, now go ahead and put in our garlic and our ginger. Man! About a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. So, when did the green onions go in there, uh, Shane? They don't go in there. Oh. How? I'm not gonna tell you again. No, this is really strong. You feel like a fourth of a tablespoon in here. This is a half, or a teaspoon, I'm sorry. Ground allspice. Ground allspice. Okay, so let that kind of uh, cook for about a couple minutes. Just keep mixing together. Now, you open up this can, Rick. Where do you put the can up? Back in the drawer. Oops, don't fall with the knife. Back in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> it's over there! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what a great noise. I wish the button would make that every time we hit it. Sounds like R2 when you get shot by Jawas. <laughs> three to six ounces of tomato paste. This is six ounces. I'm gonna put a half in, so three. Let's see how it looks so far. One, two ounces. Stir it. Yes, please. I want, no, I want to cook it. Don't play with your food, Eric. Don't tell me what I can't do. All right, catch it. Look, I keep stirring it, Eric. <laughs> Are we? I'm hungry. Right. Did you guys leave? Yeah. No food for you. We'll save you some, or at least we'll say we will, and we won't, and you won't get any, but then we'll secretly have some so you can't have any. Take them over and warm up spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> so there's any left? Oh, there's no left. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I did, I did want to save you some, Eric. Can we put the green onions in now? No. Oh. I'm gonna dump this whole can of tomatoes in there. A whole can of tomatoes. What kind? Whole, what kind of tomatoes? Uh, these are these are plum. They're in their whole and they're peeled. A whole can of plum tomatoes. I want to use uh, peeled. Huh? San Marzano tomatoes, but they all of them had basil in it. Yeah, thank you. With the juice, everything. Okay. Dang it, Shane. Why right. you put it in the sink? Okay. All right. Now we're gonna keep stirring. Yeah. Do we chop these up? Nope. We're gonna put in the blender here in a few minutes. Okay. So we will chop them up. The blender will. You will do nothing. Just and you like that. it. And you like it. <laughs> well, when do we put the green onions in? We'll put those on top of the hot dogs. Now we're going to do a fourth of a cup of um, apple cider vinegar. That's clean up. Vinegar sterile, right? Sure. And then do that much to a third of brown sugar, depending on how much sweet we like it. I like my ketchup kind of sweet. Uh, we'll put all these up and then uh, this onion, just uh, dice it. So you're going to slice it and you're going to dice it. So just cut up the small little pieces. And also now we're gonna put in a generous amount of salt and pepper. Okay? So, I'm generous. I Please, should do sir, it. can I have salt and pepper? Here's a generous amount. Let me smell it. So I good, not gonna lie. It does smell good. Pepper, generous, very generous. Oh my god! So generous! Salt. Salt it. Get salted. Careful, Shane. Oh, oh. More salt. That's a lot of stuff. Perfect. Now we're gonna let that cook for about 20 minutes, okay? 
And while we do that, Should Rick's we gonna reduce do... heat? Yes. Because it's bubbling quite a lot. Reduce heat! Another topping I like to use, sometimes instead of cheese, is macaroni and cheese, okay? I'm gonna do my best to build the best hot dog for Eric. We're gonna start boiling water on a separate burner. So we're gonna cook the macaroni and cheese, that's not really a secret. How are we going to cook it? We're gonna boil it to taste. Yeah, well, we're gonna cook <laughs> cheese to taste. All right, guys, well, this is the point in the video where I leave. All right. Calvin has to leave. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we wish him... Unfortunately? No. Unfortunately, you have to leave. Oh. But fortunately for you, you need to go see your girlfriend, so... Yeah. You kids have fun. Have a good time. Yeah. Have a good time, Calvin. Have a good time, brother. Okay. All right. Pull off a couple triangles out there. You have triangles. <laughs> I have squares. Okay, so wrap these around the hot dogs. Like a pig in a blanket? Yeah. Kind of like that, yeah. Okay. Alright. You got most of it on nope, one nope, side? Nope, 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 that nope, nope, nope. Cheese wraps around the hot dog and then you wrap this yeah, around the cheese. Makes sense. Give me cheese, Rick! Cheese! I like that. Doesn't smell like ketchup yet. It just smells like tomato. Another hot dog with cheese? Yes, please. Alright, we did it! Alright, so you can eat them. They're done. No, Eric! We're gonna throw these in a couple minutes. Alright. And then for about ten. Here. No. Here. We're gonna throw these in the oven. For yeah. about 10 minutes, maybe 8 minutes because it's a little higher. And then we're going to, a little uh, it's a little at the same time, throw the fries in as well. Okay? We got to do the fries with the spoon. Be like that. Those are going to go for about 20 minutes. Okay. And then, probably going to do the macaroni and cheese. Not too long from now either. Because I kind of want it all to be done kind of around the same time. Okay. You know, the fries will be done last. I am going to go in the other room and fart. Okay. We do want to toss these in some olive oil. Three, two, no! Okay, we'll have to do this half the time. Okay. How much? That's, that's probably good. Go ahead, toss it, Eric. Ah! It goes with a tossing bun. Good one. Okay, Eric. Yes. I know. Well, we're not just gonna eat it this time now. We're gonna put it on the macaroni. <laughs> All right, so I am going to actually throw the noodles in here now. We took this as kind of a challenge because I know Aaron didn't like ketchup. I thought he might like this one, even though this, I never made this. But it's, it's kind of similar to the one that my friend Mike's mom makes. But in case you didn't, I also have an alternative recipe for Aaron as well. Okay? This is good. Which is basically just cheese and jalapenos. You actually put quite a bit. You wouldn't think you do, but you, you actually do. Now, pepper as well. Boom the top. Now, now we basically gotta get these in there as well. I'm gonna do that. That's sugar. Use the one upstairs. No! I'm putting these down on just warm. Okay. And then eventually what I'm gonna do is dump them in here, I'm gonna blend it up. Shane, have you ever made ketchup before? Yes, not this one. I made mine, it was basically using like spices, like onion, salt, pepper, tomato paste. But this uses real whole ingredients, like onion, real onion. Uh, you know, ginger, garlic, and that's what my friend's mom does. And she adds a bunch of stuff and they cook it in 30 hours in a crock pot. Okay, we're back here. The macaroni cheese look like it's about done. Eric, you wanna try that? Those are shells. You wanna try that? Yeah. Ah! 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 No! No! Fuck! <laughs> no, Rick, no! It's definitely done. Okay. So we're gonna strain this colander and put the cheese in it, okay? I'm trying to water down my face. Are we boiling the hot dog? Yeah, we're gonna boil them, and then we're going to pan fry them for like a, for like a minute. Rick is always the thick as shit. <laughs> Girl, you think of the bobo man. I thought it was just finishing. <laughs> That's why you always smell like this, Shane. That's that, yeah. I thought it was just finishing. <laughs> it must be. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to blend this in the blender now. Can you make ketchup without a blender? Not this one, but you could eat it like this. My I'm uncle, hungry. my uncle David, he made ketchup one time. He was selling it like to like veterans, American Legion. He was just selling it there. Like a scam or no? No, it was a scam. Oh, okay. It just, you know. Like I you can't don't get ketchup he, like in Burger He basically made it like someone. this and didn't blend it, but they liked it. I'm yeah. like, who the hell would eat this? Probably really, 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 really hot. Nope. Because <laughs> <laughs> I touched it, I'm like, I'm not gonna grab it. Nope. I look over here grabbing it, and you just look a pan in your <laughs> Now we're gonna take the top off because it's, because it's hot. Well, you gotta be careful when dividing together so it's splash out. All right, so I'm gonna move with the dressing. This is sitting on top of there, but it's not like screwed in. Okay, now we have ketchup. It's good. I want to taste. There's still, you know. Oh, bitch! Oh, no! 
Oh, he shook me! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I turned the heat off. No, the no heat it's is not. Off. I'm telling you. There is fire. You didn't hear me because you're busy raping my face. This is a little warm. <laughs> I found two two boxes of other pastries empty. Like what the fuck? There's, there's, a, there's a whole box of cookies up up in the you were saying. up in the spare room. I think someone's put them up there to frame me. <laughs> <laughs> a whole box of cookies. Did I tell you what I did with my children one time? No. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. So those uh, what are those like? They're like. They're like in a foil, like little chocolate balls, uh, and they're like wrapped in this really nice blue foil. There's a red foil too. They're like kind of nice looking. Yeah, they were actors in Simon's a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, those. Well, Joy, they're her favorite things in the world. The truffle. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a truffle. Yeah, basically. What the hell was it? She was getting on me about exercising, and I had one of those ravenous nights. Just cleaned her purse out. Okay, then I went to my kid's room and dumped it all over the place, like wrappers and everything. Yeah. She framed it. And the next morning she was screaming out there, crying. I didn't do it! She like, you always lie, Mal, guy. This is, this is why. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, think, man. When, you, play it. when will you ever tell him that? <laughs> Never. And when he comes 18, he realizes what the world can really be. Yeah. I hate you, you stupid, stupid man. He's 85 years old. <laughs> A lot of boring math later. All right, um, we're still waiting for the fries and the croissant hot dogs. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw in some hot dogs in the water, boil. Boil. <laughs> ah! Ah! And I don't like sauteed onions with hot dogs. I like them with my broths. Uh, but I like to use uh, fresh onions. Okay. So you're getting them hot because they're already fully cooked. Yeah, they are. The best meals come fully cooked. You barely had them in the water at all. Got them hot, baby. boiling, though, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's pretty hot already. Right? Mm -hmm. The first is going to go to Aaron. He's the kind of guy I think he likes your bun a little heated, a little grilled. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Damn. Aaron, how do you like your buns? Toasty. Toasty? Okay. Toasty! I personally don't, but we'll do that. See, I personally like a nice soft bun, not. You ever get confused what side the bun is? Uh, it's not me, it's called dice. What? You have the wrong side of that? No, I did not. Yeah. Crazy, crazy asshole patch. Fucking idiot. Cheese. Cheese. Air cooks. People start buying their shirts wearing around town. Please come. Sorry, looking here, thinking we're making mess. Yeah, we're going to that mac and cheese. I will come to the camera and Aaron can come here. Final touch, 10 seconds of microwave. What? Melt the cheese. Get it right when it hits zero. Right when it hits zero. He eats some hot. <laughs> right when it hits zero. <laughs> oh, he did it! No, no, I kind of heard a little. No, he didn't. I'm like, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. That's why I'm always looking around. I'm so scared we're just saying I don't need anything. <laughs> so there's macaroni and cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and jalapeno. And cheese. Yeah. yeah. And jalapenos. Remember CeCe's? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Remember that macaroni and cheese pizza? No. <laughs> it was gross. <laughs> I like jalapenos. I like the cheese. I don't know if I like the macaroni and cheese. I think it makes it too mushy. I think so. Mm. I like the flavor. There's something about the, I mean, at least the bun now, having the bun kind of toasted. Mm -hmm. And the jalapenos give it a bit of crunch. You like a toasted bun, Eric? So you would just put the Velveeta on there, but not necessarily the shells. Mm -hmm. Looks like it might be done. Yep. And take it out. The cheese and the jalapenos go really well together. Really good. Sweet. Look good? Looks wrapped pretty well, don't they? Now, you don't like ketchup either, do you, Rick? I will have it for the sake of experiment. Well, I'm going to spray it anyways. But okay. I love ketchup. Eric, and you can do how it is, right? No! It's like the Terminator. Do <laughs> 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 like it? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Now, Rick, I assume you don't want jalapeno. No jalapeno. Now, that's kind of like the whole thing with uh, with <laughs> with the jalapeno. Well, I mean, with the mac and cheese is a jalapeno. Mm. I didn't. This is not a recipe I came up with. I saw this on a Food Network. So I like the hot dogs like this too. Yeah, yeah. Was that. the mac and cheese jalapeno the with the recipe you saw? Yeah, it was. I ripped it off something else. Yeah. You gotta finish your hot dog. Done. Ready? Yep. Great yeah. job. Here. Ah! I thought I wasn't having mac and cheese. You just want to catch them, okay? No, you mean, I, I will have cheese, mac and cheese. Cheese, ketchup, onion thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that is, I thought this cheese. Well, I do that also. I will have whatever, okay. except the jalapenos. Make my damn hot dog. Just <laughs> <laughs> make the boy a hot dog. <laughs> Ask me about my wiener. You know what be great? We never use green onions over there. <laughs> that's, that's for my hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. A little hot. <laughs> it's spicy? No. I like it. 
Quite a bit. But I don't know that I taste the ketchup. I really taste the onions. Sammy gotta eat quick. They're just gonna become a big sloppy mess. I think you got a little ketchup there. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, this is the final ketchup look. Uh, the color seems off, but I think that means it's homemade. All right, I'm gonna try one of these croissants with some ketchup. Is okay. that what you want, Shane? Yes, sir. It's a lot less sugary than normal ketchup. A little spicier. Yeah, there's definitely a little spicier. So this is a final croissant with cheese and hot dog, and I'm gonna try it with some ketchup. Well, to me, either I don't know what ketchup is supposed to taste like, or it doesn't taste so much like ketchup where I'm like, there it is, there's that taste. It's but very tomato. It's good. Yeah. And it tastes fresh, yeah. Yeah, it, it tastes very fresh. It's more like a tomato paste than a ketchup, but maybe our, the ketchup we're used to just has a lot of sugar. That's what's missing is all the sugar and the preservatives. Too. Yeah. yeah, we have the option to put in more Do you have no preservatives that we can put in? Certainly not bad at all. Mm -hmm. It's good. Do I prefer it with regular ketchup? Maybe. Time will tell. I love me a croissant. Mm -hmm. I've never had a croissant on a hot dog before. It's pretty good, eh? Mm hmm. First time I had that was when I was camping. Someone brought it and they wrapped it on a hot dog. It's really good. And they were fire. Yeah, love it. Croissant is one of my favorite tastes anyway. Now it's got a little more protein in it. Yep. It's good. Clean, clean protein. <laughs> good, good source of protein. You guys vaguely taste like ketchup. A little bit. It's too late. Well, I think more ketchup, ketchup would probably be a little more vinegar and a little more sugar. I'm curious with fries. That's yeah. my main ketchup mainstay. So I, yeah. uh, I feel like I'll taste is that the your, difference the most. Is that your main ketchup delivery system? It is. It's not bad. It doesn't really taste like ketchup. It's weird. I'm finishing kind of like the last version of like my hot dog. Ooh, shit. I just put I just put a little bit of mayonnaise on there, okay? So I just touch up the edges. Hmm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the dog on here. Eh. The dog! So now what? You're adding some ketchup to it? Yep. You layered that with ketchup, Shane. Yep. Look at that. Slather. And then you get a pickle? Yes, I do. Now Eric loves pickles, did you know that? Eric, take a bite of this pickle. No! I actually really enjoy pickles, it's just not one thing. So he pickles. This is happy for me. What are you doing? Hate him. Huh? What are you doing? To that pickle. Mm -hmm. You're destroying it. Don't forget the green onions. Yep. I think we shouldn't use them. You think, you think we shouldn't use them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Calvin comes asking like, at the end of the video, like, what happened to the green onions? You do zigzags. That's a lot of, a lot of mustard there. The cheese? Shredded cheese? It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you steal my plate? I think we've all been sharing that plate, actually. Someone, someone stole my plate. Eric, maybe? Is that a second? Huh? No. Huh? No. I thought you were making this for you. No. no. What? I know what my dog hot dog tastes like. This one, compared to the macaroni and cheese one, is much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does not look like we'll have fries today, as we are running out of time. Ow. I'm going to We got potato softies. They're dance. Oh. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> There's a lot of chewing. There's too many flavors competing yeah. for my attention. I want one that's. Do they compete or do they do they do a good job? Oh, I will give every single ingredient some attention. Like Hohenheim did all the souls inside. <laughs> I don't know every single like one. Yeah. I don't know every single one. I would I would really want to do a hot dog with uh, just a bun, ketchup, maybe some cheese on it. That's I'm glad you like it. The green onion. Hot dog. Yeah, fuck up a hot dog. The green onion, I think that's like so a decent amount, and it's a nice garnish. Rick, Rick may think that less true than you, that you could fuck up a hot dog. Rick, can you fuck up a hot dog? Yep. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching Cooking with Blind Wave. Cookie. We're out. Thank you for watching Cooking with Blind Wave. If you want to see more stupid shit like this, consider supporting us on Patreon.